this let's go ahead and start this anyways oh, uh, hey folks this is bobo the vulture and this is her fault and it's time for more uh, let's play together even though it's a one-player game uncharted waters new horizons auto Baines? Haynes. I believe it's Baines. No, it's you've been saying Haynes. It is Baines, though? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that we were playing as Otto Baines. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to do Bane voice now for the rest of the LP. <laughs> <laughs> you know, recently, uh, like over the Christmas holidays, um, which are probably like a month ago now for you folks watching live, uh, JG and I sat down and watched Batman and Robin. We were watching the riff tracks for that. I'd completely forgotten most of the movie, uh, especially I'd forgotten the fact that Bane is in it. Bane is in that movie as like a, oh, yeah. as like like a sub up. thug for uh, Poison Ivy or whatever. And like, is I mean, it was this professional wrestler guy and like his only dialogue was like, oh, and just like break things. <laughs> so I'm thinking that like they got the character completely wrong in uh, The Dark Knight Rises. That's where you're wrong though, because <laughs> he's actually not just a thug, he's a super smart guy. Well, he's a super smart guy, apparently, but all he did in that was just wander around and do whatever. I make it maybe it's because she was he was under like Uma Thurman's uh, mind control oh, from the yeah. like palm dust that she was throwing around. Anyways, well, what were we doing here? Uh, we we found out someone was following us last time. Oh, that's right. Somebody is following us. And I was oh. going to I was going to look at I'll admit I was going to look at FAQ for a little bit, but we have I was just looking at the comments on the very first video that you posted cuz that's Did somebody sort of what's posted a so fact. <laughs> There is, there is so much useful information here. It's amazing. A literate scholar. If for someone yeah. that doesn't know how to read, they're really good at writing. Yeah, no, that was really good. There's like <laughs> so much there that like it literally did read sort of like a fact and I'm like, oh man. Like, and it's like whenever I'm approached with a regular fact, I'm like, oh, I just want to be able to skim to find the one bit of information that I'm missing without spoiling the rest of the game. <laughs> mm. But we're being followed. Yes. Um, by, now we've got some. Yeah. We've got some options with all the money we have. Oh, we yeah. could. We could re-outfit our ship to have a lot more crew. Okay. Um. Or we could try to get better guns. We could try to get better guns. We could re-outfit the sh ship for more crew. We could. Um, Wait, how many crew is the ship outfitted for now? Well, you take a look. I, I can, as soon as I remember the... Yeah, that's the button. That's not the button. Damn. All right, fleet info. Let's, let's look at the fools. Sup, fools? Oh, yeah, it has, 100, has room for 180 crew. We could recruit 30 more crew so that we're at full strength. Yep. That'd still be more crew than most ships. That's true. Uh, I don't know, like, maybe maybe we were about to be attacked by a Flemish galleon that was going to have oh, man. more room <laughs> for, like, even more dudes. But, yeah. I think for right now, what we should do is just go and try and round up some guys. So we've got a full complement of uh, fighting men Yes. And then beyond that, we'll see what we want to do with the rest of our cash. I suppose I could always go over here and try and gamble. I meet some guys. Colin Lowe. Ahoy there, mateys. I was live on the high seas. I'm Colin. I sail with a merchant fleet from England. What? That was my English impression. That was pretty good. <laughs> You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were a Londoner for sure. <laughs> All right, let's let's go. Of course, guys. I am a Londoner. Yes. Oh, that's the that's the layers of uh, of of our repartee. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the sports, fish, and chips. That's lovely gossip. All right, I'm getting out of here. Matthew Loy, it's nice to be back ashore. Oh, that's right. We already got all of his. Uh, it's nice to be back ashore. We should go to bed. 
um, dialogue from when we were attempting to get the plot to progress before, and it just wasn't <laughs> because we'd already we nearly failed. All right. So we well. need to give everybody some fish and chips if we want to recruit 30 guys, because we are not popular enough yet. Yeah, so... I don't know if we want to buy 50, though. Maybe less than that. I'm like, yeah, I'm wondering, like, I... I have no scientific backing for any of the stuff that I believe about this game but I was always under their impressions like well, well, if you buy 30 drinks then those 30 guys might be willing to join you mm -hmm. but I don't know if that's exactly how it works I'm not quite sure hmm, let's try 30 well, what, what's the worst that will happen thanks for treating me by the way, have you been to Dublin? It's around 54 degree north, 7 west. You might want to visit there someday. That's okay. actually not a bad idea, because be able to sell the information of knowing where that port is. Get some extra cash. Hey, do any of you toughs... Oh wait, no, that's right, he's, he's, he's Otto Baines. Hey, do any of you tough sailors want to join our crew? We rounded up 132 men. So we, we really didn't need we, to buy we any fish and chips. We went way overboard yeah. with our fish and chips. They're like, this this guy, these guys are gluttons for food. Do you see what they think a portion is? Man, this is amazing. I'm going to sail with them. It's so much hard tack. No, there's actually just some like random dude with a beard and a robe and sandals who was here. And he's like, oh, I see you're serving up fish. Well, uh, <laughs> let me let break me that up for you. Yeah, let me let me let me d divvy up these portions. Oh, what do you know? There's enough fish for everyone now. Do you have any <laughs> loaves? That would be great. Um, all right, so let's hire thirty. Yep. Wow, forty-one per sailor. That's not how much we're gonna have to pay them to like stick around every week. No, no, these guys are these guys are a one-time payment. You pay them, and then you just they're an individual keep them purchase. Keep at sea so long they don't know mm. that, where their home port is, and they never leave. Well, until you go to a random village that you discover, and then they're like, they don't want, they're tired of sailing. Woohoo! All right, so. All right, get on board, fools. So the other thing we're going to want to do is, you can see right now we have 90 guys that are That are trying navigation. to just keep the ship moving. Yeah, and 45 guys are looking all over the place. Yeah. That seems excessive. And, and here's can... what's weird. Do you think you could put everyone on lookout that's on combat and be like, you know what? Keep an eye out. Yeah. But if what you keep an eye out for is somebody attacking us, maybe grab your sword. No, I think what the guys who are assigned to combat are doing is like all day they're just like working out. They're like lifting weights. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing pull-ups on the rigging. They're just making sure that they're as buff and tough as possible. All right, so let's assign crew. Um, what's up, fools? Um, so we might be able to get away with 10% here. Well, we'll find out. We don't uh, need any for lookout right this second. No, that's not, no okay. that's not okay. Let's let's try twenty and none. All right. Ooh. Still not enough. Wow. All right. How about twenty-five? Hey, we can move. Nice. All right, 75% of 180. Uh, oh man, this is really a time, but I wish I could do math in my head. Um, but it's a lot of guys. They're all going to be fighting. It um, also shows the number on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I also wish I had some common sense, too. 135. <laughs> I never would have gotten that math right, anyways. That's terrible. All right, so. So that's a lot of guys fighting. Yeah. Um, hopefully, we have, we have they'll a save hmm? if anything goes horribly wrong. Well, actually, yeah. Let me let me put in a save right now. That's not the button to do it. <laughs> this is a really pro LP. Will you save the current game? Yeah, I'll do it. This is gonna be fun for anybody who is really appreciating the like somewhat effete uh, upper class British accent guy that I've been doing <laughs> up to now all of a sudden he's become not even like a good Bane but the like 
weird voice that sounded vaguely Bane like I did for a uh, for an Aeropis LP. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess so. So the next thing we're supposed to do is is for sail out of town, right? I believe so. I don't know why I'm talking to you in character voice, but <laughs> what brings you to this shipyard? Oh, that's right. I I went to the shipyard instead of. Well, load capacity. What can we do? Which ship? Fools. That's a lot of money to be investing yeah, let's not, with the amount of money right we have right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's forget it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, buddy. I actually just thought you were the dock. The dock is clearly this building that's not on the extended portion of the... Uh, coastline here that's built out it's this it's this building set off from the from the actual coast mm. oh wait there maybe we'll be shoving off yeah let's go ahead and sail the way oh, we oh much food. No, maybe we should maybe we'll we get, should uh, supply up. well we do you know what don't don't supply all though because if we do end up in combat we can steal the food from others and not spend our own gold okay Let's um let's just go ahead and buy another twenty barrels. Okay, twenty one. So that we're not at ninety nine. Nice round numbers. Yeah. So let's buy twenty one. Water's free. Yeah, but if I g well yeah, okay, okay. No, I'm just saying you didn't buy it. No. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, yes, I could fill up with like 300 more barrels of water. <laughs> just, just dump it like, into the ocean after the battle. <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> I mean, this is it's, it's an environmental message in this game. All right, let's sail. You know, if the ship was tailing us, we don't have to sail for long. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm willing to risk it. Because if it's less than 10 days, he won't tell you how long, right? Yeah. Yeah, so let's just do it. Maybe it will only take half a second. What's going on? Commodore, it's the Spanish, all right. They must want their ship back. Is that so? Even they have some honor to uphold. They'll come to sink us, I bet. I can't believe they're this upset. After all, we only stole one ship. Everyone to your posts. We're going to take on the Spanish. Oh man, if we just had to defeat the Spanish, this is going to be the shortest LP ever. Oh no, they're right, killing my right away. So, the guy with the little dot on his ship. The guy with the cross. Is that what that is? As opposed to the numbers, the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or whatever. Yeah, he's the yeah. guy we want to get to. Yeah, and we could, I think. Oh, we might not be able to move. This guy might be blocking our path. Oh, yeah. sh he is. So we're gonna have to change our direction here. Yeah, change our direction. And uh, I wouldn't bother fighting them because it's gonna be a waste of men. Those don't grow on trees. Yeah, okay. Hey, quit hitting me. Enough of that. Now it's too bad there weren't any vagabond sailors in Lisbon. We would have been able to. The enemy's commodore proposed oh, no. a duel. Are you going to back out of this one? Oh, we couldn't. There's no, no option. option. That means they, they're scared of us here. So what we know is is that thrusts do massive damage against blocks. He has a scimitar. Yeah. We have a short sword. Mm -hmm. I think short swords are good with lashes? Because it's not a stabbing sword. It's like a slashy slash. Okay. So we'll lash Scimitars are swords. also good against slashes. Yeah. So what does the most damage? Um... If we had a slash, if we use a P, it's dangerous because that's what does the most damage when he, if he uses a slash. But a a uh, a D or a B. D a D will block a slash because you jump out of the way. Okay, and a B will B will block a lash. What do we think this scimitar is gonna do? Well, I would think scimitars are a slashing weapon because they're the big curvy ones. Okay, so we want to dodge. I'm hoping so. Okay, do we want to use 
a weak sauce dodge, or do we want to try a strong dodge? I'd go middle of the, middle of the road here with a three. <laughs> Sadly, with our roll, that is the middle of the road. <laughs> yep. Level three dodge. Oh no, Lash. Oh no, that was the worst. <laughs> All right, so do we want to... I would just use our strongest. Yeah, I use that and see what happens. Oh, we got, we got some ground back. Super strong, yeah. Um, oh well, boy. you just kind of randomly pick now. Yeah, I suppose. With this level of... Uh, yeah, with these few hit points left, might as well just use all of our weak rolls because another hit will kill us. Yep. Dodged right into that one. Yeah. Ah, oh, we're not getting out of this one. Nope. June 1st, 1522. Otto Baines's journal stops abruptly on this page. This marked the end to the stormy saga of his life on the seas. I do like that he's been writing his journal right up until the last... He was in the sword fight, and he's like, And then I used a dodge! <laughs> no, he stabbed me in! Uh, I'm going to remember your name, Batman. <laughs> that's the nice thing. Anytime we lose a duel to anybody in this game, they're just they're just Batman. That's that's the only conclusion that you can reach. <laughs> Otto Baines's journal stopped abruptly on this page. I picked it up, I read it like I am right now, and I laughed and tore it up. <laughs> <laughs> Batman turned into a jerk. I don't know why. Okay. Um, I guess... Uh, Alright, I guess we need to... Get the old load. On June 1st, 1522nd, Otto Baines was defeated in battle. Debris from the flagship washed ashore, but no one has ever seen him since that fateful day. Also, Sp the Spanish took over England. A game over again! Okay, you gonna let me load or? Oh, you know this is a a Koei game. You gotta you gotta wait around for a million years before it's gonna load I've, anything. Literally, I've, I've hit all the buttons at this point. It's not gonna do a damn thing. Oh, there it there goes. Go. <sighs> they really want you to know this is a Koei game. Yeah. Boy, come on. I understand it's the Ray Koetian series. I know that more than you could possibly imagine. All right, I guess we could take one more try at this in this video. Yep. Hopefully, we can use the old uh, rush them with our troops attack. Yes. It's kind of lame that when they attack you, you can't cancel the duel, but they're all just like when you attack them, and you're like, "Hey, how about we duel?" They're like, "No, no, no." The game will resume at the Port of London on June 1st, 1522. Okay. Alright, let's... Have, well, let me first check, make sure that all of our recruiting uh, happened. Yes, it did. We got a lot of guys out there. Actually, considering we don't have to move... No, we could put less. I wouldn't put too much less, because it does. I think it does affect your... Your movement, movement ability in combat, right. Sorry, I would I think so. To, I didn't mean to uh, jump in the middle of what you're saying, even though we are so simpatico now. It's like we can finish each other's... Sandwiches! Yes! Footlongs! You take six <laughs> and I'll take six. <laughs> Ahoy there, matey. We'll be shoving off. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yeah, we don't have to worry about any extra food. Yeah, I should have just thrown it all in the river. <laughs> Even the food that we have, just get rid of it for fun. Alright, yeah. They're attacking they... again, oh no. Who would have saw it coming? I'm gonna take on Spanish. You know, Henry VIII, you really should have told us that we were oh, gonna need to do this. a much better start for us. Oh yeah. Yeah, you just attack him right away. He's walking right into our traps. We're actually in a good position here because we'll be able to uh, chase Follow him down. Him. Starts to run. Nope. No. 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 <laughs> and our guys seem to be a little more seasoned because we started with the same amount of men, and we uh, we may have more devoted more to combat. 
I would probably do. They probably have guys looking out right now. Look out, they're attacking! Oh no, you're all dying down there! Crap! Why do we have 40 guys in the crow's nest? Alright, so should I... So you may want to move your sails. So, if you can move, but not necessarily... Move. Like, if you hit B now, you can just rotate your boat. Wait, what? Oh, not that way. B. I know, I just... In what direction should we set our sails? Upwise. There we go. Oh, you can only do, like, slight rotation, okay. Yeah. Nope. No duels, thanks. No duels, just right. Oh. Oh, you think you... trying to get on the action. It's too late for them, though. My destination is to be on your ass! <laughs> Should I go all the way up, or...? You might as well. You'll still be able to attack him. Oh, he's trying to head to What's shore. What's he gonna do? <laughs> he just, just lands in England. Hey guys, I, was, I wasn't just attacking your whole navy. <laughs> just yes! Right. There we go. The enemy's flagship ran up the white flag. Otto Baines completely destroyed the Spanish fleet. This triumph occurred on June 1st, 1522. Oh, we've, we've managed to seize... 5,600 gold pieces from those scurvy dogs. That's yeah. friggin' sweet. It's like doubling our money. Captured six enemy ships. We can add one to our fleet. Right. I want to add the Carrick. <laughs> uh, let's not add the one with no dudes. Yes, that is a good plan. We could add this one with a full complement of dudes. Although there's nothing in the holds. I just wonder if they're bad enough dudes. There's nothing in the holds, but we get to decide what we're going to take at the end anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, these have different kinds of cannons. I don't know from the pictures which ones are the best. Hmm. Wait, this guy probably has the best. And this one... Yeah, those look like they're lighter ones. Yeah, we'll take this galleon. Yeah, that sounds like the best one. But now you have to name the ship. Oh man. Let's see. Oh, this is this is this is important information. Um, I mean, we're gonna keep. I mean, these are galleons. These are good ships. And we're, we're not throwing these out. Yeah, we don't necessarily want to just get rid of this thing. Oh, I didn't think about ship names. <laughs> um, maybe uh, I'm gonna name it. Uh, crud. I really should have thought of something, huh? Uh, I'm gonna name it... Just because... Just because I looked across uh, my room and saw a, a WWE DVD collection that was over there. I'm going to name this ship Randy. After Randy Macho Man Savage. <laughs> Um, unless you you have some good, like, seaworthy names. Uh, oh, I don't. No? Alright, then this is the Macho Man. <laughs> Alright, let's... I'm gonna steal all this food and Wait, water. Let's... Uh, now, I would just take as much food as possible and yeah. nuts to nuts to water. Although, I guess we're gonna need at least a little bit to keep sailing around. I'm gonna tell you what. Now you don't have to make it even on both ships because the ships all share their their stuff. You guys are leaving stuff behind. What are you thinking? What are you fools? Yeah, yeah, it's okay to have the transport process. I admit your victory, but someday my country will avenge my defeat. I'm not the hero that Spain wants, but I'm the hero that Spain needs. <laughs> and I guess we can go back to London now, or... 
We could, um... We could also try going to some other ports to see if there's some capable crew. We also have some hot tips about there. trying to find Stonehenge. If we're lucky enough. Try to go right along that coast, because... If there is a Stonehenge, it'll be right there. Yeah, I don't think we got it. Um, but we could head to uh, Lisbon. There's apparently a navigator there that isn't the best, but he's not going to quit on you. Oh no! <laughs> Quick! To the land! Quick! Just land and get some water. There's gotta be some fresh water around here. We're in... We're in a oh no! Alright, go can't on. Live, can't land there? There's a cliff. Can we land here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh... Surge. Oh man, we get all kinds of water on the on the ship now. These guys eat a friggin' lot of food. What the heck? They certainly do. Well, we have two over two hundred guys now. Almost probably over three hundred now. And we should be checking these guys as we yeah, uh, sail we along. Be, see if we, can. we should be checking situation. We're not going to be attacking him. He's got a sweet mustache. It's true. All right. You and your sweet mustache can go about your business. I'm heading down. All the way down. Now, an interesting fact about Lisbon. I work with a guy that's actually... He was born there. And uh, they're actually called... Uh, the people that live there, like... I live in London and I'm a Londoner. They're called uh, Lisboners there. They are called Lisboners. Wow. I thought we really pulled Liz Boner last time when we said that that was what people from there were called. <laughs> I probably like mentioned, I'm probably going to mention that two or three more times in the LP. Hey, you know, that's a bare minimum requirement, <laughs> I think, for that kind of information. So that guy is definitely a pirate. Yeah. I mean, he said, I think they're pirates, but they're, they're pretty much totally pirates. All right, we're going to stop in Lisbon. And I think we're going to stop the video here, too, because we're coming into Portugal and, you know, it's the middle of the night, but uh, that's okay. We can get up to some sneaky subterfuge or something. But uh, I have a good feeling about how all this has gone. Hopefully, Zerf, you've got a good feeling about how all this has gone. I do. We've got the fools. We've got Randy. Um, we've got a load of guys that really want to eat lots of food. Maybe I should lower the rations. I don't know. Either way, uh, we're sailing the world with badass boats and we're itching for a fight. So look out, Spain! Anyhow, <laughs> this is, uh... <laughs> I just had to cut a promo there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so this is Bobo the Vulture. I'm Zerfall. And this is uh, Let's Play Together, even though it's a one-player game, Uncharted Waters New Horizons, Otto Baines' story. I want to thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see all of you next time. Bye now.